The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India is rolling out new measures to combat fake and spam calls. These regulations set to take effect on November 1 focus heavily on message traceability to help telecom providers monitor and block spam messages. Messages from banks, e-commerce companies and financial institutions will be required to follow a specific format for easy identification and traceability. Messages that don't meet these standards will face tracking and blocking measures. The spammers somehow uh, then started using the un, uh, unregistered uh, numbers which is the uh, common personal numbers and there is a significant rise, there was a significant rise in the complaints against the uh, unregistered telemarketers or the personal numbers which rose from three, around 3 lakh in 2020 to almost more than 12 lakh complaints in the year. And also we, when, when we an, examined and analyzed the complaints, we found that certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, misuse of the entire system was being done or in the certain uh, management issues were there. So, a lot of corrective measures have been taken. TRI Chairman Anil Kumar Lahoti also highlighted that TRI, in collaboration with the Department of Telecommunications, will release a consultation paper to refine the regulatory framework. The consultation paper suggests scrutinizing telecom subscribers who send over 50 SMS or make more than 50 calls daily, identifying these patterns as potential indicators of spam activity. The malicious links were being forwarded through uh, SMS, which could be, uh, uh, you know, uh, malicious URL or malicious APK or malicious OTT link intended to be to cause fraud. So that if somebody you know clicks that link, then they, then he, she or he can become a victim of fraud. So TRI issued uh, direction that uh, uh, every principal entity will have to whitelist the links that uh, where they want the consumer to click the link and uh, take certain action. Additionally, an August 13 directive from TRI has already set forth strict consequences for any entity that violates promotional call regulations. Offenders may face penalties such as disconnection of telecom services, blacklisting of up to two years and restrictions on obtaining new telecom resources for the duration of the blacklisting.